Nicola Sturgeon has been warned over trumpeting about going back into the EU as part of her desperate bid for another Scottish referendum. The Scottish Government has repeatedly said it will rejoin the bloc if a second independence referendum is successful. This is despite Prime Minister Boris Johnson previously warning it should be up to 40 years before another vote is held. It comes after Scottish people voted against independence with a majority of 55% in 2014. Now Kenny McCaskill, the Alba Party MP for East Lothian, warned the SNP's focus on keeping ties with the EU would be looking back, not preparing to go forward. The SNP defector wrote in The Scotsman, but those pursuing independence need to detail much more and, in particular, how Scotland addresses Brexit. Simply trumpeting about going back into the EU won't wash. That's probably at least five years down the line and we can't just sit and twiddle our thumbs until then, even if that's what Scots would wish, which is itself arguable, for sure, access to the single market's imperative but that can be resolved by membership of the European Free Trade Association EFTA, rejoining the EU would necessitate a hard border with the rest of the UK, which is an anathema to many and undermines the case for independence. In any event the political union's more controversial now, as the EU faces challenges with the departure of Merkel, Le Pen's threat to Macron and the continued rightward drift of the likes of Hungary and Poland. SNP positioning though seems to be EU membership, irrespective of whatever happens or whatever the cost. To avoid alienating them, the SNP concentrates on looking back, not preparing to go forward, as for some of them EU membership's more important than independence and they were cultivated by Nicola Sturgeon, the First Minister has repeatedly insisted an independent Scotland will join the EU. She even told Europe that Scotland would be back soon, just after the Brexit transition period ended at 11pm on December 31st. She wrote on Twitter, Scotland will be back soon, Europe. Keep the light on. The First Minister has also used the EU as an argument for an independent Scotland. She wrote on Politico last month, sadly, as with so much of the Brexit process, and indeed other matters, the voice of Scotland, in what was conceived as a voluntary union of nations, has been ignored by the government in Westminster.